In today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to set up a simple payment system on your existing website. So let me show you the final design. So over here, you can see this is something I just made up, you know, <laughs> summer swimming lessons. And over here is where you can add your payment systems. So you can add your first name here, the date, and you can see here it shows in a nice way. Over here, you can add your phone number and you can also change the country just by clicking on this drop down, You can also adjust the pricing. And here you can have a choice. You can choose either PayPal or Stripe. And you also have this GDPR as well. And once you hit submit, it takes you to PayPal, makes a payment, and you can also customize this to redirect to a specific page for a thank you message or whatever it is. Now, the plugin I'm using for this is called Fluent Forms. It's a fantastic plugin. The link to that is in the video description below. And I highly, highly recommend this plugin. Not only can it be used for payment options, but it is highly, highly versatile. You can use this for so many types of websites and so many use cases. Now, before I begin, I'd also like to remind you that if you'd like to design professional looking websites with Divi, I have a discount. And if you buy this Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And by the way, that discount is a 10% discount if you use the link in the video description below to buy Divi. All right, guys, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in. And so let me show you how to create this page right now. All right, so the very first thing we're going to need in order for us to add a simple payment system onto our website is to install a plugin called Fluent Forms. And if you need the paid version of the form. So I've already gone ahead and installed it. In fact, let me show you where it is. So over here we have Fluent Forms. And if you wanted to uh, buy this, this is about $59 for a single site. For a five site website, it's $99. And for unlimited sites, it's $199. To be honest, if you purchase this, you will not regret it. This form builder is very, very easy to use and it's packed full of features. All right, so over here, I've gone ahead and installed this. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is to make sure that I have the major settings all set up. So I'm gonna come over here to settings. So on the payment settings, you wanna make sure that you connect this um, to PayPal or Stripe. So here I have my PayPal settings, you can see here. I've just added my email address and that's all I need to do. But of course you need to uh, have a PayPal account. You can also add Stripe uh, and Stripe takes your credit cards. So this is also advisable if you want to make it easy for people to make payments on your site. So all I've done here is I've added my API key so and my live secret key. So once you add these two, that's all you need to do. Now this form has been connected with your payment options. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to head over here and create our page. So I wanna come over here to pages and click on add new. So I'm gonna call this page swimming, use Divi Builder. And then I'm gonna build from scratch. Right, so over here, I'm going to uh, need a single column and this is where I'm going to add my short code for my payment system. So I'm just gonna close that and then I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add a full width header. So I'm gonna select full width header. And uh, the very first thing I'm gonna do here is to remove the button because I'm not gonna need that because my call to action is already there. Next, I am going to um, add some dummy text here in my description text. So I'm gonna come over here and just replace this. And then I am going to add my title here and I'm gonna call it Summer Swimming Lessons. Okay, so that's my title there. Next, I'm gonna come over here to Design, Layout, and then I'm gonna center everything here. Now, I can, make, I, I can either make this full screen or I can just uh, design it as it is right now. So I'm gonna leave it as it, uh, as it is for now. Back over here, I'm gonna come over here to the background, click the third tab, and I'm gonna add my background image. So I have here these two kids swimming. So I'm gonna add that as my image. And then back over here, I am going to add a really dark color. So I'm gonna drag this all the way up. And then I'm gonna choose a really dark blue. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm gonna play around with, uh, with these colors here and see what style I can come up with. So now that I have my background color and my image, uh, I am going to come all the way down here to my image blend. And then I'm gonna try and see if multiply works. And to be honest, it doesn't look great on there. 
Uh, let's see what Lighten looks like. Go to Lighten. Okay, so it doesn't look really, really look great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Multiply. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and just choose black as my main color. And then I'm just going to add some transparency to it so I can see a little bit of the image. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to read this text easier. Okay, so I'm going to click on this brush tool and then let me change, change my text here to all caps, change it to white. And that's looking great so far. And then I'm going to come over here to spacing and let's add, let's add some padding over here. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's say 11 or maybe even 10. Okay, so I'm going to save that now. And I'm going to drag this to the bottom like that. And this is where my shortcut is going to come. So I'm going to click on this plus button and add my text module. Okay, great. I'm just going to save this for now. And uh, pretty much this is the design of our page. Let's head over now and work on the form itself. So I'm going to click here and open this. In fact, let me save this page. Now, before I create the form, I am going to click on edit page because I need to remove the header and the footer of this page. So to do that, you want to come over here to template. Uh, in fact, you can't see the template. Let me just get rid of my video there. So what you want to do is come over here to template and click on blank. So this removes the header and the footer. Click update and then I'm going to hit preview so I can see what it looks like. And there we go. All I have is the main hero area and this area here on the bottom. All right, great. So the next stage now is to work on our form. So I'm going to click here on save and exit. Go to my dashboard. So over here on Fluent Forms, I'm going to click here on Create New Form. So now I'm going to decide what I'm going to need for this form. So definitely I'm going to need my name fields. So first name, last name. I'm also going to need date and time or date or time. And let's see what else we can add. Let's go to our payment fields. And here I'm going to add the payment field. And there's the price. I'm going to go in and change my price. So my pricing here is going to be, let's say, 29 per lesson. Okay. And then I'm going to add the payment method. And this is going to show the PayPal and the Stripe. I can also add the uh, quantity here if I need to. Let's say, for example, it could be a situation where you can allow maybe three, four, five people to come. I can just add the item quantity here and it will just calculate it for me. And then it, it just makes the payment. So this could be a useful feature if you need that. But uh, for now, I've just added my name, date, payment item, and the payment method. So I'm pretty much happy with that. So again, over here, I'm going to, let me see what else I'm going to need. You know what? We might need a phone number here as well, just in case. The, uh, the lessons could be cancelled, so you want to be able to contact um, the pupils that the lesson has been cancelled. Now, there's also another field here, which is the GDPR, which I think is also very important. So I've just added it there. Great. So we are all covered now. Our form is ready. All I have to do now is to click on Save Form. And then I'm just going to click here to copy the short code. And then over here on my site, I'm going to enable the builder. Okay, so over here, I need to add my shortcode. So I'm going to click on this gear icon and I'm just going to replace this text with my shortcode. I'm going to click save and you can see now my form is now showing. So that looks great. So what I may also want to do here is to um, style this and make it look slightly different. So I'm going to go in here and add some uh, spacing all around my form. So I'm going to set this to about, uh, let's go with 30 all around. There we go. And what I'm also going to do is to add a background color, I'll set this to white. And then I'm going to add a drop shadow. So you can see now my form has a beautiful drop shadow. What I may also want to do here is to add some rounded corners. So I'm going to go to border and set this to about three. I think three works fine. All right, so I'm pretty much happy with that. I'm going to save this. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some negative margin. 
and then just drag this up over here like that. Okay, so as you can see, this is our form. I'm gonna save this and exit the Visual Builder. So this is our final design.